Ladies and gentlemen, as we are on another night, we are on another episode of Universe Mode. My name is Plus, and welcome back to Mayhem as we are in Seattle, Washington, ready to start off this one with an absolute banger as Brian Danielson is opening us up right here on Mayhem. Man, oh man, this is going to be good, ladies and gentlemen. We have been wanting to know for the last week what is on the mind of Brian Danielson. Last Friday on Mayhem, he was in one hell of a main event match against Samoa Joe. Him and Samoa Joe tore the absolute house down, but the big question that everybody had on their mind, the big question that I have on my mind is what is next for Brian Danielson as Danielson claimed that he was going to carve his road to WrestleMania as Danielson claimed that the Shield was going to get a knockout on three and all three members of the Shield were going to be inside this fatal four-way for the North American Championship with that promise by Brian Danielson already being broken you can only imagine what's on the mind of Brian Danielson aside from that you can only imagine what's on the mind of Brian Danielson missing out on this year's Wrestlemania as his opportunity passed him in the North American Championship qualifier I mean come on I mean how do you have Wrestlemania without Brian Danielson ladies and gentlemen I don't know but I guess we're gonna hear how Danielson feels about that now the entire world has been wanting to know what's on my mind and quite frankly I've been drawing blanks quite, quite frankly I don't know what's next for Brian Danielson I don't know where my road to Wrestlemania leads I don't know what's going to happen to me I know I'm in the shield I know we're gonna continue to dominate but what's next for Brian Danielson that's a question that I just don't have an answer to. I've thought of so many different ideas, so many different paths that I can go down, and it all led to one. It all led to winning the North American Championship. It all led to becoming the first ever North American Champion. And last week, I lost against Samoa Joe. And Joe, you were the better man last week, but don't get anything twisted when it comes to me and you and the magic that we make in the ring look forward to it because it's gonna come again there will be a time and a place where me and you meet each other in the ring once again and the stakes will be high but don't get cocky and don't get comfortable with the win from last week because that that will be eradicated because the next time I face you Samoa Joe I will beat you Samoa Joe as for what's next for Brian Danielson as much as I'm drawing blanks I doubt the WWE Universe is, and I know in my heart, I know in your heart that we all want the same thing, and that is for Brian Danielson to go to WrestleMania, and there's only one way to make this happen, we need to make noise, and we need to make sure that they hear us loud and clear, WrestleMania will be Danielson's mania, I don't care if I'm fighting for a championship, or if I'm just fighting to create a moment, I will not let this opportunity pass on me. I have created bangers on every which way I have gone. Every single pay-per-view that I've wrestled on, I've done it. Every single match that I've wrestled, whether it's on Raw or Mayhem, I've done it. And it is being the best goddamn wrestler this entire company has ever seen. It is being the greatest wrestler of our generation. It is defying all the odds. And it is going to WrestleMania. And goddamn it, I am it. I am going to WrestleMania one way or another. I will make my mark on that grand stage and I will give the WWE Universe a performance of a lifetime and after that the Shield will continue to dominate. And as for tonight, Claudio Castanoli is going to walk into the main event and he is going to join Seth Rollins and we are going to make sure that the Shield walk out North American Champion. Now as for Seth, congratulations on your win. We all know it's been a long time coming, but ladies and gentlemen, I thank the entire world for giving me an opportunity to speak to you guys right here tonight on Mayhem. But understand one thing and one thing clearly, Brian Danielson will do anything and anything in his power to go to WrestleMania. 
I'm gonna make my moment. March 17th, I'm gonna shock the world. Brian Danielson marking his territory and telling the entire WWE Universe that he is going to WrestleMania. Listen, Finn, I wanted to talk to you tonight because, listen, I, I know me and JD and Priest haven't been getting the best of wins lately, but we want to try to do better. Post-WrestleMania is going to be a new chapter for the Judgment Day, a chapter where you walk out world champion, and we want to make sure that we do our part in making Judgment Day the best. So me and JD were talking, and we were thinking, hey, maybe you would give us an opportunity in a tag match this week. Talk to Adam Pearce, do your thing, and we can, you know, start getting wins again. I mean, was just, just an idea we were thinking about. You know what, Dom? That actually sounds like a pretty good idea. I like the idea of Judgment Day going in to WrestleMania with a whole lot of wins and walking out doing the same. So you know what? Yeah, I'll talk to Adam Pearce and see what we can do. We'll get you guys in a matchup and we'll let you guys work your magic. But don't let me down, Dom. Listen, you got my word. Me and JD this Monday, we're walking out with the win. Doesn't matter who we go against. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as tonight heats up, we see the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, gearing up for his matchup later tonight as he is going to be participating in our final match for our North American Championship qualifiers as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the Swiss Superman himself, Claudio Castanoli. Can the muscle of the shield get the job done against the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, or will Styles prove that his lone wolf mentalities will come into play here tonight as he walks away with the victory? I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, it's a toss-up of greatness here tonight in your hard-hitting main event. Who's going to walk away with the victory? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's all up in the air, but you can feel free to comment your predictions down below. But coming up next, it will be Tommaso Ciampa going solo tonight as he will be going one-on-one -on -one with the godfather of the Judgment Day, Damian Priest. Who is going to walk away with the victory tonight? Comment down below, but let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Mayhem Zone as we are in Seattle, Washington, gearing up for Tommaso Ciampa versus Damian Priest. As Tommaso Ciampa is going to be going a bit solo here tonight, not something we usually see from the Psycho Killer ever since arriving here on the scene in Universe Mode. He has been sticking to the side of Johnny Gargano each and every way those two men go. And, you know, they're known as heart and soul for a reason, but tonight... Tonight we are we're going to be seeing straight soul here tonight as the heart is not in the building. Johnny Gargano is not in the ring, you know, in the building here tonight. He was going off and doing other family s things. So you know, Tommaso Ciampa held down the fort for him tonight here on Mayhem as he is going to be going against the Godfather of the Judgment Day, Damian Priest. It's going to be a very, very interesting one here tonight as this is the first time Damian Priest is going one on one with Tommaso Ciampa here in universe mode so it's gonna be very very interesting and also first time we're seeing Damian Priest in action in a couple of weeks here in universe mode is last time we seen Damian Priest here on mayhem was you know due to the attack to you know Will Ospreay when Will Ospreay got attacked by Damian Priest and Finn Balor when the Judgment Day you know absolutely laid out Will Ospreay and had him out for a couple of weeks and then this past Monday on Raw us seeing that return of Will Ospreay us seeing and, and Ospreay basically telling the entire WWE Universe that listen you know I'm coming for Judgment Day I don't care how I do it I don't care where I do it that is the mission statement that Will Ospreay is on and ladies and gentlemen when you are looking at an aerial assassin who has his sights locked in I wouldn't doubt him and ladies and gentlemen I want to thank everybody for coming to watch this video. If you are and have been enjoying the content on the channel, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more as we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers on our road to WrestleMania. But ladies and gentlemen, the godfather of the Judgment Day, Damian Priest, he is here. And he looks to win some uh, or to get some wins under the belt of the Judgment Day as we've seen earlier tonight. Other Judgment Day members, you know, J.D. McDonough and Dominic Mysterio asked Finn Balor for an opportunity. And... They say they're going to be getting an opportunity, so we'll see what happens. But ladies and gentlemen, as we are closing in, let's waste no time. Let's get the lights on these two gentlemen, and let's do what this makes this show so great. And let's wrestle. Big boot there by Damian Priest. Ooh, 
Beautiful work there by Damian Priest looking to stomp down on Tommaso Ciampa. You know, like I said before, and I'll say it again, you know, you talk about the career of Damian Priest here in Universe Mode, it's been up and down. You know, right when Damian Priest seems like he's going to be getting his highs, and right when it seems like Damian Priest is right there. Beautiful spear from the second rope there by Damian Priest. You know, he has this amazing, oh, aerial of offense. I mean, look at that. The man this size should not be able to bounce all over the ring the way he does, but he's able to do so. And look at Tommaso Ciampa. But Damian Priest, so many highs, so many lows, but those lows seem to carry him out a lot more than the highs here in Universe Mode. But meanwhile, you gotta say that you know that raises a different case with Tommaso Ciampa, as Ciampa has already booked his ticket to WrestleMania. Ciampa is gonna be uh, you know one half of the one third team inside that uh, tag team match at WrestleMania. As it is gonna be triple threat action for the tag team championships and. Wait a minute, look at this now, Tommaso Ciampa turning it up big time here, a couple of slaps in the chest there, beautiful neck breaker there by Tommaso Ciampa, psycho killer into the cover, is this one going to be it here tonight, the Godfather put down and out, no, Damian Priest, man, we thought it was going to be over for him, but no, somehow, some way, Tommaso Ciampa makes him stay alive, makes him stay in it, but Ciampa now looking to make him down, down and out for what could be the absolute worst, and look at this now, Ciampa, the absolute disrespect by Tommaso Ciampa, as Ciampa, Kind of kicking his feet off there to Damian Priest. And now look at this now. Damian Priest getting brought up here. Now what does Tommaso Ciampa have in mind here? Crossing the arm and oh! Beautiful maneuver there by Tommaso Ciampa. Thought he was going to go for a cover but thought differently about it. Maybe second guessed himself but now looks to bring Damian Priest to the outside of the ring. I hate my words there as Damian Priest. Punches Champa wants nothing to do with that, but Champa keeping the momentum and keeping the heat on Damian Priest. You can't blame him. Brings him right into the corner. He, oh, wait a minute. Oh, Damian Priest not allowing it. Damian Priest fighting back. Oh, wait a minute now. Priest now has Champa up on the shoulders. Nowhere for Champa to go. Nothing for him to do. Stun gun off the ropes. That right there it will stun you and put you out as Champa doesn't know where he's at or what's going on. Loving clothesline off the ropes by Damian Priest. And now look at this. Damian Priest with a south of heaven. Into the cover. No. Champa says no. We know Champa as a, as a guy who was willing to do any and everything. But wait a minute. No. This time. This time, oh, come on, it's South to injury. South of heaven, I mean, come on, too. This is it. I mean, you could tell after he kicked out of that maneuver, Damian Priest, he got pissed off. And he just, he just started spamming. And he just started doing anything, man, oh, man. You know, this is a Damian Priest that we have been wanting to see for a very long time, ladies and gentlemen. A Damian Priest who has been who has focused. A Damian Priest who is willing to take no prisoners and who is willing to take no survivors. A man who waits in nobody's path and creates his own. Ladies and gentlemen, if this is the Damian Priest that we're going to be getting, sign me up for. Oh, oh man! Wait a minute! Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen! He caught his shot on Raw in the main event. And he said not only was he going to the main event of WrestleMania, but he was going to take down each and every single member of the Judgment Day. Oh, man, can that and has that started with Damian Priest here tonight as Will Ospreay is here. We were not expecting him to be here. Damian Priest feeling good off of a win, but this can be crashing down for him here tonight. Oh man, oh man, these two men center locked eyes. Will Ospreay wants a microphone, somebody get him I don't know one. why you have a smug look on your face. I don't know why your boy over there has a smug look on his face. You see this, this isn't good for you. No matter how outnumbered I may seem, no matter how much the odds may seem like they are against me, I gave you a promise. I gave each and every single member of the Judgment Day a promise this past Monday on Raw. And I am not just a guy that's going to sign a contract, talk my talk, and not deliver until March 17th. No, I am delivering way much more than that, just like you guys claim to. I mean, it was you and Finn that attacked me, wasn't it? And yeah, I'm getting my hands on Finn. March 17th, the calendar is set, the contracts are signed, we're ready to go. But you, Damien, you, 
vengeance will follow you because this Monday, me and you were going to be in a little match in the main event on Raw. I had a little conversation with Adam Pearce and he agreed with me that the Judgment Day's antics and the Judgment Day's tactics just doing whatever the hell they want to do and thinking there's no consequences are over. And I am that consequence and if you don't fear me now, Damien, you will. On Monday, you will, after I drive your ass into the mat with a Stormbreaker, you will fear the name Will Ospreay, and I will live up to my name, and after I'm done with you this Monday on Raw, it'll be nothing more than an assassination. Listen, Gable, um, what, what are you doing here? Hey, yeah, I'm just getting taped up. Finally cleared after that uh, that match with JD a couple of weeks ago. But listen, I seen Monday. That must have been huge. Getting an opportunity to be in the ring with Stone Cold Steve Austin. I mean, dude, that, that's insane just to even think about. Listen, that moment was cool and all, but your moment's coming up. I want to start focusing on your moment and your opportunity for the North American Championship at WrestleMania. So, listen, man, I just came to say congratulations. And know that if you need me, LA Knight has your back the same way you had mine in the past. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as WrestleMania rolls around the corner and we are beginning to be on the precipice of the show of shows, the show where legends are created in universe mode, go down in the history books. Ladies and gentlemen, this year we go Hollywood as our general manager, William Regal, is going to have a big universe mode announcement that is going to change the very foundation of universe mode as we know it. What is it going to be? Uh, a ton of people have their opinions, but only one right answer will be answered, and that is March 17th at WrestleMania. But that is not all, ladies and gentlemen, as the tag team division has been on one hell of a rise in Season 2. In the end, we are going to see three teams, three teams who have been risking it all as the Usos come back, and they look to go back-to-back -back in WrestleMania as the take on FTR and DIY. Will heart and soul be enough to carry them through? Let's find out. But ladies and gentlemen, as the championship matches get bigger, better and better than ever Bianca Belair puts the women's world championship on the line as she is set to go one on one with the nightmare herself the woman who's been on the rise here in season two and who's carried the women's division and made that very title ladies and gentlemen Rhea Ripley is stepping up and in our main event it'll be Finn Balor Will Ospreay one on one ladies and gentlemen at one point in time Balor was known as the main character he's definitely known as the first pillar and come Wrestlemania he is going to be going against the underdog of underdogs ladies and gentlemen all these matches confirmed plus so much more not even confirmed yet and it will go down March 17th at Wrestlemania Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the Mayhem Zone, and here we go as it is tag team action here tonight. And it will be the Undisputed Era, a team that has been making their name pretty known here on the green brand known as Mayhem. But ladies and gentlemen, I have a recent update from the Undisputed Era as Bobby Fish has been injured. He suffered an injury in his right arm due to a workout injury, but it's okay. He will be back in a couple of weeks' time, but for the time being, it will be these three guys holding down the fort as they have not had the best week, in my opinion, as... They all got laid out by L.A. Knight and Stone Cold Steve Austin. You heard that right during our old school episode of Raw. Uh, Adam Cole and the Undisputed Era did not have the best of time as they were looking to come out and make a statement or make some demands to the Rattlesnake. But although that did not see that working out, L.A. Knight came to the aid of Stone Cold Steve Austin. And let's just say that Adam Cole can say that he is the only superstar here in Universe Mode to take a stunner by Stone Cold Steve Austin. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, other than that, things are looking a bit slow when it comes down to the Undisputed Era. And oh, man, yes, oh boy, it is pretty deadly, ladies and gentlemen. This is a team that has been brewing quite a little bit here in Universe Mode as we have been having them in the background. 
not doing much here on the main stage, but they have been doing a whole hell of a lot in the Performance Center, and we felt like on our road to WrestleMania, why not make things just a little spicy by showing you guys one of the newest additions of Universe Mode, as they will be making a more of a an appearance in Season 3, but we figured, hey, why not get a head start on the future of Tag Team Wrestling? Ladies and gentlemen, Elton Prince, Kit Wilson, I present to you Pretty Deadly. These two guys are definitely going to be more on the unorthodox side to say the least, but uh, one thing I can for sure say about these guys is although they may come off as unorthodox, they are still great in the ring and they know how to get the job done when it comes down to the great art of professional wrestling, and I think that that is what matters the most, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, Elton Prince, Kit Wilson coming in from a place down below a place that we don't grab superstars from very often and that is known as the performance center usually we have our fair share of guys that we already uh, kind of hold closely to us so when you get that spot on these rosters trust me you want to make sure you capitalize on that momentum because just as fast as it comes it goes so ladies and gentlemen this is definitely going to be an interesting debut to say the least as they are going to be taking on a team that has been uh, somewhat hot here in universe mode known as the undisputed era as the undisputed era have been making sure that intercontinental championship stays around the waist of adam cole and that right there has done them complete justice but ladies and gentlemen for the first time here in universe mode also is going to be kyle o'reilly teaming up with roger strong as yeah, strong was breaking out and doing more of a singles thing beautiful work there by kyle o'reilly and o'reilly is used to teaming up with bobby fish here in universe mode but now you know having to switch it up here and team up with kyle o'reilly just in an expedition match and they're not as a set tag team here in universe mode kyle o'reilly and bobby fish are still the tag team for the undisputed era but you gotta think just being in a matchup like this it's gonna be different now yes the undisputed era overall wrestle the same yes the undisputed era overall uh train the same so they know a lot of their maneuvers but at the same time there's no chemistry like tag team chemistry but ladies and gentlemen i might be eating my words here tonight look at this kyle o'reilly staying in control here of kit wilson and oh man look at this now wilson Wilson dropping down Kyle O'Reilly there as Kit Wilson has something big in store here for O'Reilly and tagging in Elton Prince. Now this is one of the more unorthodox guys from the team here tonight as look at this now Elton Prince. What does he have in mind here for Kyle O'Reilly? Brings him right back in the ring. Wants to waste absolutely no time and you can't blame him for doing so. And look at this now O'Reilly with a big kick there. Elton moving out of the way now. Ooh. Breaking the back. There goes that unorthodox style that I was talking about. Big Irish whip into the corner there. Perfectly done there by Pretty Deadly, bringing them into their corner. That is exactly where you want to be in Pretty Deadly territory if you are Pretty Deadly, at least. That, ladies and gentlemen, has got to be one of the smartest things I've seen here tonight. And something that I didn't think I'd see here that I'm seeing is Pretty Deadly in control over the Undisputed Era. That is definitely something to say the least. And look at this now as Kyle O'Reilly trying to get that tag into Roderick Strong. Oh, Elton Prince says no. Beautiful sidewalk slam there. Beautiful, beautiful sidewalk slam there. Now, look at this now. Kit Wilson, but legal man back in the ring. Nowhere to go, nothing to do for Kyle O'Reilly. As look at this unloading, just a fury of strikes here on Kyle O'Reilly. And if I'm O'Reilly, I'm getting that tag, and I'm getting that tag fast. Listen, when it comes down to the Undisputed Era, when it comes down to Pretty Deadly, these are guys who are in a spot right now. Ooh, beautiful done, beautifully done here. These are two guys in a spot here where it might be too late to make it on that Mania card to find these two teams. But at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, you never know what could happen here at you know on the road to WrestleMania. Look at that! Bear hugged him, dropped him right down. Is this going to be it? Kit Wilson to get the pin here tonight. Is this going to be it? No! O'Reilly kicking out. I mean, think of the plethora of teams that the Undisputed Era have been in at the ring with. Darby Allen and Sting, FTR, Alpha Academy. I mean, these guys have been in the ring with almost everybody, and here they go, being the first uh, opponents, the first challengers for Pretty Deadly here tonight. And oh man, look at that now. Elton Prince, legal man in the ring, doing all the damage he can possibly do, but no, Roderick Strong having to get his hands dirty, coming to the aid of Kyle O'Reilly. And that is, you know, one of the first times we're seeing Roderick Strong even get physical in this matchup as it has been all Kyle O'Reilly all throughout this matchup now but look at this now Elton Prince 
Prince could be lining him up for something big here. Locking him down. Could be looking for that submission maneuver. Look at this now. Knee bar locked in. Knee bar locked in. Nowhere to go. Nothing to do. But oh. Oh man. You know, Roderick Strong knows a lot about those knee bars. And he, I think he even knew that there was no getting out of it for Kyle O'Reilly as he comes to the A. But now Kit Wilson coming to the aid of his tag team partner and taking out Roderick Strong. Beautiful work there. That is the, that's exactly what you want to see. And look at this now. Kyle O'Reilly bringing up Kit Wilson here. And oh, excuse me, Elson Prince. And as Prince gets up, he goes right back down. And look at this showing up and showing out for the Undisputed Era. I eat my words there as Elton Prince moves out of the way. And now look at this. I eat my words once again as Kyle O'Reilly moving out of the way. What a great expedition here tonight by these two men going back and forth as they go. Rolling out of the ring, creating some distance, going right after the non-legal man. Smartly done so that way there can be no tag acquired. But now look at this, Kyle O'Reilly looking to do the exact same here tonight. But go! Big boot catching him! Is this it? One, two, no! O'Reilly grabbed the ropes. O'Reilly grabbed the ropes. I was not expecting that, but look at this now. Elton Prince. Elton Prince feeling it here tonight as he's giving a yes, boys, to the crowd. And what a debut it would be for Pretty Deadly if they were able to. Oh! If they were able to upset the Undisputed Era here tonight as Kyle O'Reilly is still the only man in the ring. The only legal man in the ring. And look at this now. Kyle O'Reilly once again getting dropped on his head. As Kit Wilson showing off to the crowd, Kyle O'Reilly, desperate O'Reilly, gets the tag in, and now finally, oh! Finally, Roderick Strong is the legal man in the ring, but at no, at no effectiveness as Kit Wilson took him down there, but I hear my words now is, look at this now, Roderick Strong, classic Strong, getting a little technical. Beautifully, beautifully done here, ladies and gentlemen, as Roderick Strong isn't playing any games here tonight we're pretty deadly and look at up and down he goes first tag match here tonight for Roderick Strong here in universe mode so it's gonna be interesting to see how he does and look at this now Roderick Strong bringing him right into the corner maybe look up for another tag quick tag but it's fine he's able to get in here get his hands dirty a little bit and now tagging in the more experienced one as long as O'Reilly was able to get that break, I feel like that was the main important part. But now look at this O'Reilly bringing him up and down. Corkscrew suplex dropping him right on the neck. Nowhere for him to go. Nothing for him to do. Kit Wilson down and out. Knee into the sternum. Is this it? No. Elton Prince says no. Elton Prince says no. I don't, I don't blame him, ladies and gentlemen. This is your debut match. You're going to want to fight, and I mean fight your ass off. You're going to want to do any and everything that you can possibly do to walk away with the victory. And wait a minute now, Kit Wilson looking to get the tag in on, but no, can't find it. Oh, my God, look at those massive knees to the face here, though. The WWE Universe knows those all too well when, uh, you know, Kyle O'Reilly, once he knocks his opponents into those knee strikes, it's just desperation from there. It's dangerous. And now going into the cover again. But once again, Elton Prince coming to the aid. But this time, Roderick Strong trying to be the saving factor. But Elton saying no. Prince saying no. Fighting back. But this time, Kyle O'Reilly coming to the aid of his own tag partner. Taking him out. O'Reilly looking to bounce off of the ropes. But look at this. Elton saying no. And oh, Kent Wilson. Beautifully done. One, two, no. A rope break. Man, oh man, what a match we are seeing, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, once again. Wilson bringing him up and down. Is this it? No. Oh, wait a minute. This time, Roderick Strong knocked out the referee, ladies and gentlemen. All hell is about to break loose here tonight. And oh, wait a minute. Look at that. Bringing him over to the other side is... Roderick Strong going over to the other side, trying to make this as fair as it could possibly be as the referee finally gets up, and it's Wilson dropping down into the cover. One, two, no. Referee a little slow to it after getting attacked. You can't blame him, ladies and gentlemen. But Kit Wilson, Elton Prince, these two men fighting their ass off. Like there's nothing left to fight for. These two men fighting like this is their very last match. And it's only the first, ladies and gentlemen. That right there, that's that mentality that you know and love. 
And now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at this now. It's Kyle O'Reilly looking to bring out and print right into the corner. Once again, tagging in his tag team partner. This is exactly what he understood there. I like the B. And look at this. Look at this. We didn't know if the tag team work was going to come into play here tonight when it came down to Roderick Strong and Kyle O'Reilly. But tonight, I think we were proving that it. No matter how you Mitch and match the Undisputed Era, they will find their way. And wait a minute, look at this now. Is Roderick Strong looking to find his way? But no, Kit Wilson saying no, picking him up and over into the cover. Now is this one going to be a no? Looking to put him away, but not too fast. Dive by Roderick Strong. Strong now looking to go into Pretty Deadly's corner. And oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. This is not good if you are Roderick Strong and oh! Double team by, oh, pretty deadly, beautiful leg drop there. And oh, wait a minute, tag here. As he gets the tag in, Elton's, oh, Elton goes over and wait a minute, oh, that's LA Knight! Knight's here! LA Knight is here! Wait a minute, BFT to the champion! LA Knight with a BFT to Adam Cole, showing that after all, there's so much more work to do. Into the cover now. One, two, they do it. Pretty deadly win in their debut match off of the distraction. What? LA Knight might have just picked up some new friends in Pretty Deadly as this. This was not a win that they wanted. No, no, no. This was a win that they needed. Ladies and gentlemen, what a win for Pretty Deadly here tonight as we are on our road to WrestleMania. Pretty Deadly as they get a fans cheering and booing. At the end of the day, Pretty Deadly did the only thing that matters in that is winning here in universe mode good job pretty deadly what a debut win wow well ladies and gentlemen already confirmed for this monday it'll be the best in the world cm punk making his return to universe mode as he has a lot on his mind and he is set to carve his own path going into wrestlemania the big question is what does the punkster have in mind for us as he is going to be here with a live microphone in his hand to kick off monday i don't know but ladies and gentlemen what i can confirm that is coming later tonight it is your qualifying match your final qualifying match for the North American Championship as Claudio Castanoli goes one-on-one -on -one with the Lone Wolf, AJ Styles. Who's going to walk away? I don't know, but what I do know is coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, we will finally hear from one of the ancestors of the bloodline, Rikishi. What the hell is he going to say? Let's find out. Roman Reigns, the ancestors are coming. As ladies and gentlemen, we finally make it back out here in Seattle, Washington, as you guys have been one hell of a crowd here on Mayhem, but as we close in on our North American Championship qualifier, ladies and gentlemen, I can officially say it's Time for your main event, Claudio Castanoli going one on one with the phenomenal one, hey, Jay Styles, ladies and gentlemen. This one is rich with professional wrestling. This one is for the final spot in the Fatal Four Way North American Championship match at WrestleMania. Who is going to walk into this matchup? Who is going to be able to walk on the stage of Immortals? Who will walk out as champion? That's a question for after this match, but we need to get through this match. Who is going to walk away the winner, ladies and gentlemen? I don't know what I do know is that this is all up in the air as we have seen Claudio Castanoli over the last couple of weeks. He have, he's made his war with the brawling brutes. He's done his bidding. When it comes down to 
you know, outside business. You know, Claudio Castanoli's been a little bit of everywhere, but he hasn't really found his place here in universe mode. He hasn't really found his place as that guy in the shield. Being the guy to win this match can do that for Claudio Castanoli. The same thing for AJ Styles. After winning Clash of the Champions, everybody expected after that six-man tag, it was the OC versus the Bullet Club Gold, and everybody expected after the OC won for AJ Styles stock to skyrocket, but he just fell down. He fell off those slopes, and he just went away. But now, ladies and gentlemen, as we are on our road to WrestleMania, AJ Styles has one more opportunity to show that all of the hard work that he has done over the course of season two is finally going to be recognized and worth it as Claudio Castanoli came here in Universe Mode around King of the Ring time in the beginning of season two here in Universe Mode. Same with AJ Styles. Our Styles has been here since the beginning, but both guys being here since the beginning and looking at it now, ladies and gentlemen, it would definitely be a good moment for either one of these guys to get a moment going into WrestleMania. As this match right here has a main event feel all over for the North American Championship, the final qualifying match. Who is going to WrestleMania? Beautiful start here by AJ Styles, knocking off Claudio. Claudio, though, sitting down AJ, showing that these two men are evenly even here. And wait a minute now, look at this now. Oh, beautiful uppercut there by the Swiss Superman here. Claudio Castanoli not playing any games with AJ Styles. And oh man, beautiful work there by. Claudio, and you, you know, we've seen last week AJ Styles wrestle against Austin Theory here on Mayhem. We've seen the damage that Austin Theory did to AJ Styles, you know, making and being the reason why AJ Styles is still wearing that tape around his chest. You know, every match AJ Styles has, it just adds on and adds on to that injury. And the ideal thing could just be to take a, a bunch of time off and heal it properly. But going into WrestleMania, AJ Styles doesn't want to do that. Styles doesn't want to go into this mania and potentially miss it because he has to do, you know, have a surgery. He wants to risk it, risk it, and just go into it injured. And hey, if he's not too badly injured, we can allow it. And oh, beautiful work there. AJ Styles turning up in this match here tonight is now going to the top rope. The Lone Wolf being surrounded here by the OC here tonight because Claudio is carrying his hounds as we see Seth Rollins, the man who won this past Monday against Santos Escobar and. Mr. Money in the Bank, John Moxley standing on the side of Claudio Castanoli and Castanoli now trying to figure out what to do with AO AJ Styles. And when you look at it, this is like the OG V2 of the Shield as, wait a minute, look at that now. Castanoli sitting down, up, sitting him down, excuse me, into the cover now. Is this one going to be it? No. As this is like the OG V2, uh, uh, you know, cycle of the Shield as first guy that the shield brought in after Roman Reigns beautiful angle slam there by Claudio Ooh, the first guy they brought in after Roman was Claudio Castanoli so a little bit of a throwback for you guys here tonight and oh face buster there by AJ Styles beautiful work there now Styles bouncing off of the rope here into the oh kicking him down absolutely devastating maneuver here by the phenomenal one as AJ Styles scouting the Swiss Superman and Claudio getting back into the ring and Styles telling him to bring it and Claudio definitely bringing the momentum just like AJ Styles wanted him to. I hate my words there as AJ Styles saying no, hitting him with a backbreaker to face one. Styles not playing any games here tonight, looking to use the ropes to his advantage. Beautiful work there by the phenomenal one. AJ Styles is all over in this match here tonight. He knows exactly what he's doing. And he, his ring awareness is absolutely amazing. This is exactly the kind of work that you want to see from the phenomenal. And if you ask me, this is the exact kind of thing that we were expecting to see from AJ Styles when stepping into the square circle. This guy knows how to do it, ladies and gentlemen. And what he is showing here tonight is that he knows how to do it on, on a different level, ladies and gentlemen. As look at that beautiful baseball slide there. I mean, this is an AJ Styles that is desperate. And AJ Styles that is going to do any and everything to get to the top. Especially with WrestleMania being right around the corner. Look at that beautiful work and Ronald off the top rope. Benson to cover here. Is this one going to be it here? Styles looking to put him away. No. Claudio Castanoli not allowing it this time. Kicking out of it. Stomping right on his chest there. That taped up chest can't be too good for the phenomenal one. AJ Styles as we are in our main event, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Swiping him around and beautiful work. Oh my God. What a maneuver by AJ Styles. And look at these men as these men are going all at each other. And now Claudio saying no. 
Sitting down AJ Styles. Styles not knowing where he's at or what the hell is going on. And you can't blame him. The leader of the Bullet Club here tonight. He is in. And he is locked into a cross face. Oh, my God. You cannot think that that is good for the arm. The take arm of AJ Styles. The injury of Styles is just getting put through more. You got to think that is going to put some pressure on him going off of those ropes and hitting that phenomenal forearm. Beautiful super kick there by Styles. Styles, man, this is this is desperation. Styles, look at that now. Oh! Seth Rollins trying to ensure that the Shield walk into WrestleMania with the handicap advantage. Beautiful slap to the chest there and knees into the shoulders. And oh my God. Claudio Castanoli is just absolutely terrorizing the phenomenal one here tonight. He is just destroying him on a different level. And look at this now as Styles back into the ring. Beautiful work there by AJ Styles. Making sure this matchup stays in the ring exactly where it needs to be. And look at this now. Styles goes for a big kick. Claudio says no. Brings him right up on the shoulders here tonight. As Claudio, what does he have in mind here for AJ Styles? And oh, bounces him right off the ropes. Oh, my goodness. I mean, come on. And oh, big drop kick there by AJ Styles. Underdog fighting back here tonight. Into the cover. Here's this one going to be it. No. Claudio Castanoli with a kick out here. You know, it's easy to say AJ Styles is the underdog, but at the same time, look at that! I was going to say at the same time, when you look at a guy like AJ Styles, it's just what this man has done. Oh my God, AJ Styles taken down. Claudio Castanoli, and look at this now popping through. Oh! St what the hell? Oh my God. I mean, this is, this is crazy. Like, AJ Styles, he's showing that he came to play here tonight. Styles now. Lining him up for what could be the beginning of the end. But wait a minute, Claudio saying no. Claudio getting out of that Styles clash. Big cat kick there by the Swiss Superman. Claudio Castanoli now lining up AJ Styles for what could be the beginning of his end. It is neutralizer. Claudio Castanoli with a neutralizer to put him down. Put him away. Claudio going to Mania. No. Castanoli. We thought Castanoli was going to Mania. The last time we see Castanoli in a match, he won it with a sharpshooter. Will that show to be the same case here tonight? Wait a minute, UFO! Styles, I don't think Styles knows where he's at. What's going on? Oh my God, Styles is driving himself off a complete instinct at this point. Hey, look at this now, Styles once again kicking off Claudio Castanoli, stomping now Castanoli, not playing any games here tonight. And Styles now, beautiful set out power bomb. You see, he's you know he's needing to use that. Oh my God, wonderful! Look at this, look at this, look at this. He gets that calf crusher in. It's all she wrote. If he continues to do work like that, ladies and gentlemen, and look at that. Oh my God, I mean this, ladies and gentlemen, this. This is what we wanted to see. This is a main event. This is the AJ Styles that we have been calling for for too damn long now. And now look at this now. Styles has him up on the shoulders here and drops him on his neck. Castanoli getting put on his goddamn neck in the main event of Mayhem. I mean, come on. And popping up the two goddamn sweet. What a way to... to, to I mean, come on. This is a... Crazy qualifier. The fact that this is the last qualifier of the night is absolutely insane. Styles. Styles sand him down. Claudio Castelli doesn't know where he's at or what's going on after that. That head scissors from the top. Styles now bouncing off of the ropes once again. Oh my god, this time Castanoli able to move out of the way. Wisely done here by Castanoli. Beautiful cap kick there. Castanoli this time is going to have to make sure he's able to capitalize. 
if Castanoli wants to get the job done, he's going to have to make sure he can earn it. He's going to have to make sure he can really fight for it. That's Castanoli now. Gut strength. Gut wrench suplex into the power bomb. Is this one going to be it here? As Claudio Castanoli with a big knee to the face there. Castanoli with a huge knee to the face there by the phenomenal one. Now AJ Styles still. Styles still going through the absolute ringer here tonight. Styles. Beautiful, dropping him down there. Castanoli doing exactly what he promised everybody that he was gonna do, and that was hurt AJ Styles. And wait a minute now, AJ Styles fighting out of it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, pop up, pop up. Is he gonna get it this time? Styles Clash! Out of nowhere, catches the Swiss Superman. One, two, no! Castanoli! Castanole stays alive! And Styles goes through, but this time miss! This time miss, Castanole saying no! The Shield could make the dream come true and make the fatal four way a handicap! Big slaps there by Castanole! Punches to the face, urgency in the eyes! Urgency in the eyes when is the last time you have seen the swiss superman sweat like this when is the last time you've seen claudio castanoli feel like he needs to second guess himself and oh wait a minute now castanoli really looking to bring insult to injury really looking to do what the hell he has to do here tonight looking to make aj styles tap out with a big one here tonight can he get the job done no styles fighting back styles using the legs to his exam oh Using the legs to his advantage. Beautiful work there by the Phenomenal One. AJ Styles at Styles now. Up on the shoulders. Dropping him on his neck. Down goes the Superman. As Styles. To the top rope. To the top. Row. It went into the cover. Is he going to get it? Quick cover here. Is Styles going to do it? Styles going to pull it away. He dies. Styles pulls through. Styles, last ditch effort, cradled him, dropped him down, casting only to know what was going on, what was happening, and AJ Styles slithered away with a victory here tonight out of all the hard work that the Phenomenal One has done over the course of season two. Ladies and gentlemen, AJ Styles is your fourth and final member to go inside the North American Championship Fatal 4-Way. We need to crown a new champion. Who will the champion be? Seth Rollins, Samoa Joe, Chad Gable, or the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. Whoever it will be, it will be a banger to say the least as these four men will be showcasing Mania. But that's not all, ladies and gentlemen, as it will be the Usos teaming up to take on FTR and DIY Triple Threat Tag Team Action is coming your way for the World Tag Team Championships. Will FTR be able to seven star their way out of this one? I don't know. The Usos are going to do their thing, but the heart and soul are as focused as ever. And ladies and gentlemen, a Universe Mode announcement that is promised to be the groundbreaking of groundbreaking announcements. The thing that will change the very foundation of Universe Mode as we know it ladies and gentlemen a special announcement from william regal and trust me it isn't just hyped up this will change the landscape of universe mode as we know it it is a promise mind blower and it is coming your way march 17th but speaking of march 17th this past monday on raw old school rhea ripley defeated two of raw's best superstars and mia yim and Becky Lynch to declare herself number one contender for the Women's World Championship. Who will walk away victor? It is a Raw Anniversary rematch. It are the two women who are the final women inside the No Way Out Chamber. And now they go to WrestleMania. Who will it be, Rhea or Bianca? Find out at WrestleMania and inside your main event, it'll be Finn Balor going one-on-one -on -one with the underdog from the underground, the aerial assassin, 
Will Ospreay. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been one hell of a universe mode and one hell of a season. And trust me, trust me, things are going to be heating up from here, ladies and gentlemen. But like and subscribe. And trust me, th this isn't it. More match cards are coming your way. WrestleMania is not only a promised banger, but it has way much more to offer.